take hymn number one on page one. I offer this Mass for the eternal repose of Alcantara Mendes. Kindly put forth your petitions and participate devoutly in this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. And with a contrite heart, let us say, I, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Saint Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me and to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Setting sail from Troas, we made a direct voyage to Samothrace, and the following day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city some days, and on the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate to the riverside, where we supposed there was a place of prayer. And we sat down and spoke to the women who had come together. 
One who heard us was a woman named Lydia from the city of Thyatira, a seller of purple goods who was a worshiper of God. The Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul. And after she was baptized and her household as well, she urged us saying, if you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, Alleluia. Please repeat, Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let science children exalt in their king. Response, Alleluia. Alleluia. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Your response, Alleluia. Alleluia. Let the faithful exult in glory and rejoice as they take their rest. Let the praise of God be in their mouths. This is an honor for all his faithful. Our response, Alleluia. Alleluia. Kindly stand up for the acclamation. The spirit of truth will bear witness about me, says the Lord. You also will bear witness. God has spoken to his people. Alleluia. And his words are words of wisdom. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, When the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me. And you also will bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. And they will do these things because they have not known the Father nor me. But I have said these things to you, that when the hour comes, you may remember that I told them to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I was newly ordained and into some months into my priesthood, there was a conversation between me and a senior elder priest. And the priest looked very disgusted and he said, whenever I see YouTube or TV, he sees many religions, they are preachers proclaiming vociferously, very vigorously. And one of the preachers of a religion that came after Christianity, and now we have these New Age movements, said it same, Jesus has said about he will send a helper. And the helper is not the Holy Spirit, he is the founder of our religion. I could feel the disgust on the face of this priest. People only take one part of this big whole statement that Jesus made. The helper will come, whom I will stand, send, comma, who will bear witness to me. 
the holy spirit came to affirm to testify and to uphold the truth all that jesus revealed to us that jesus is the son of god and all these others who came after and founded their own religions after christ came and ascended to heaven and the descent of the holy spirit some century 3 4 5 centuries later they falsified christ they reduced him as one of the greatest prophet even greater than the founder of their own religions reduced him to a mere human but the holy spirit with uphold that jesus is the son of god the true one god but you see the following father so many people are thronging to hear them to join them to be part of them yes it is their are uh, there are many things they will do we will be persecuted and many will desert us and join them it is their are uh, but we have to hold on to this one truth in the light of the holy spirit holy spirit came to affirm to testify that whatever jesus revealed was the truth and truth is always greater yes the statements that they make may seem very plausible all that seems plausible might not be the truth only the truth that is god reigns forever they will come they will shine very brightly even our eyes we may have to cover with our hands because the shining of their brightness will be so great but god is much more than their statements then their vigorous and vociferous preaching and proclamation for jesus was eternal eternal before eternal now and eternal forever holy spirit is given to all of us let us deepen his understanding he came to deepen our understanding of christ not to teach us something different or contrary to what christ taught us him number 119 on page 33 kindly rise pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord may accept, accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church we offer you a sacrifice of praise o lord humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty so may you receive them favorably 
and make them profitable for our salvation to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels for the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things to Christ our Lord through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Philip Neri, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamp of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Hymn number 147 on page 42. Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation to Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for the Synod of Bishops. O Mary, our Mother, you shine continuously on our synodal journey. When you said yes to the angel Gabriel, you became a model of communion to each of us. At, a, at the wedding feast of Cana in Galilee, you joyfully participated in the first miracle of your son, Jesus. You accompanied the apostles in the upper room as they prepared themselves for their mission. Through your motherly love and compassion, you enlarged the space of your tent for all humanity. 
Grant, we beseech you that through your maternal protection, presence, and guidance, we too may journey in your footsteps, O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the masses ended. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Number 209 on page 65.